Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak, Zada Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 2nd of October. Today is also the first day of the new quarter, so we should be expecting uh, some volatility and a continuation of the trends that we saw um, in the last quarter. And indeed, that's uh, been the case so far today, as you can see with the euro dollar, for example. Uh, resuming lower after its counter trend move um, in the last uh, couple of days of last week. So today the euro dollar has reached 105 before bouncing off its lows a little bit. Uh, this is on the back of stronger than expected uh, data from the US. This time it was the ISM manufacturing PMI which came in at 49 when 47.8 was expected. This week is going to be very important uh, uh, for US uh, data. We have lots of uh, key events coming up including the ISM services being my own Wednesday. Uh, we have uh, jobless claims on Thursday, but then the big one, the monthly jobs report is on Friday. Now ahead of that, the euro dollar, as I mentioned, is uh, falling. The uh, US bond yields are on the rise again. And we're looking at equity markets pointing lower once again. The S&P 500 found resistance last week where it should have at key price support at around 43.30, 43.35, that kind of area. And it, uh, it looks like it has resumed lower. Uh, the low from last week was at 42.35. That would be the next downside objective for the S&P 500. Now, the German DAX index has found resistance uh, where it should have at around 15,500, which was a previous key support area. Once support broken, then it turned into resistance. Um, now it is testing uh, 15,200 the base of this breakout back in March. So it looks like more losses could be on the way for the German index and indeed for the global equity markets. For more analysis, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.